Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Power Expertise. And in today's video, I am going to explain that how you can utilize term store at site level and how we can create managed metadata at site level. So first we will see what is actually managed metadata or term store. So term store is used to, you know, organize your files and documents. Okay. And managed metadata allows a user to create a new column type that can be added to a list or to your libraries where a user will be enabled to select values from a specific term set of managed terms and apply these values to their content. The user can also create and configure and manage metadata column to map to an existing term set or you can create a new term set specifically for a managed metadata columns. And some of the benefits of the managed metadata columns is that it promotes the consistent use of metadata across your sites. And the term store is updated and managed separately from the column itself. There's no need to update the column. This means whenever the term set that a specific managed metadata column is bound to is updated, the updated terms will automatically become available to user wherever the managed metadata column is available. And this makes a managed metadata column very different from a choice column, which would have to be updated every time you wanted to change the list of the choice values that a user can select. Okay, so let gets into the SharePoint side where I will show you how you can create a management data. Okay. So first you need to have an owner of the site to create this metadata into your town store. So what you need to do, you need to click on this glare icon on your home screen. Then go to site informations. Then you need to give you all site settings. And then here you need to see term store. Okay, it's available here, term store management. Once you click on term store management, this window will open. So here in the taxonomy, you will see global term groups and site level terms group. So the major difference between this global and the site level term groups is global terms groups will be available to you across your all sites. But the site level terms groups will be available only to the, that specific site on which you have created your terms group. Okay. And there's one more way to come here. I will explain you that as well. You can come here from your site content types as well. So once you click on site content types, you just go to term store. So you will land up to the same place. Okay, so either of the one is fine. So let's create a site level term group. Add a term group. Here, let's suppose I'll give doc type as the name. add it successfully and inside that I want to give a term set invoice and one more I will give agenda okay now we have this in our term store at our site level what you need to do now so let's go to site contents and let's use that metadata which we have just now created. Go to the, click on this new icon, create a document library name. You can give top library, click on create. And this will add a column Call manage metadata, click on next, give a name as manage metadata doc. Okay, 
Click on the select option. So just now we have created this doc type. Let's suppose I want to pick invoice and click on save. Click on save again. Now this column has been added. Now let me add uh, a document, a word document. And let's just say this term store. Okay. And just close it. It's, it's been saved. Close it and refresh. So this document I have in my document library. What I will do, I will tag this. with my invoice and click on apply so in this way you can create and utilize the manage metadata and you can give a hierarchy to your uh, content and uh, yeah so if you find this video useful please like and share with your friends and to get more such knowledge on dynamic 365 or power platform stay tuned with power expertise till then bye bye take care